Welcome to the May edition of The Daisy Chain. And this month, we have launched the Empower Network. Hi, my name is Penny Bowman and I'm the Alumni Relations and Development Manager at Turak College. And I'm here today with Bianca New, the Student Future Specialist here at Turak College. And Bianca and I are going to talk today about the Empower Network, an exciting new initiative here at Turak. So the Empower Network is really about bringing our students together with our very talented alumni community, our collegians. Uh, so we, we're doing that both face-to-face -face and online, online via a LinkedIn group and the purpose of it is to a help the students build their professional network which we see is giving them a really great head start when they leave to our college so short term in order to participate the girls need to have an up-to-date LinkedIn profile so essentially a resume online uh, so immediately they're marketing themselves to employers but they can also be using the LinkedIn platform uh, to be following organizations and industries that they're interested in as well as to research the career paths of people who are in roles that they aspire to. So that's an immediate benefit straight away. But in terms of participating in the Empower Network uh, online, they now have this access to this very talented community. So we're going to be encouraging them, you know, to be asking questions, to be learning, taking the advice. It means their network is bigger in terms of the diversity of industries that they have access to. And then of course, as their network builds, they get all the benefits of having a strong professional network. And we hope that that could lead to, um, you know, internship opportunities or formal mentoring or even employment. I would say, um, first of all, ensure that you have your LinkedIn profile nice and up to date or develop a new one if you don't already have one. From there, um, you can request to join the Turak College Empower Network group. And once accepted into that group, um, people will be able to field questions from year 11 students in regards to career and study advice. And from there, further into 2019 and beyond, there will be face-to-face -face opportunities within the Empower Network program. And all the details on that will be updated on our website and on our social media platforms, and also by the e-newsletters that I distribute regularly as well. This month our students braved the weather to run in the annual House Cross Country. Many of our junior school students competed in their first ever event, while our senior students enjoyed spectacular conditions on their event day. At the end of the senior school event, Douglas House were victorious. Our Mother's Day celebrations extended right across the week. Our ELC students treated their mothers to a touch of pink high tea, which broke into a spontaneous disco. Our junior school students celebrated their mothers at a special assembly with classroom visits to follow while over 230 members of our school community enjoyed breakfast together. We thank collegian Sally Bloomfield for returning to her school and sharing many inspirational stories of her fascinating journey. Our winter classical concert celebrates the diversity of our music program and featured the award-winning Grace Notes Choir back from their win at Generations in Jazz. It also showcased some of the amazing talents of our teaching staff. Looking ahead, we launch into performance season. Our senior school play, I Never Saw Another Butterfly, is a beautiful and moving piece and opens today. In mid-June, we see our year sixes take to the stage in their production of Aladdin, full of colour, fun and excitement. And finally, it is time for the parents to have a Turak night out. Please join us at the Parents and Friends Winter Solstice. Grab a table or come on your own and meet new people and enjoy some fabulous food. We hope that you are all keeping warm as we see the winter season in.